So what we want to do now is set up some ad extensions for the ads that we have just created. Here you can see an example of what the ad extensions are. So the site link extension is the most prominent one, which basically goes to different pages on your website. For this example, this is a watch store and they have added some site link extensions going to the men's bestsellers, women's watches, watches under hundred dollars and so on. So these are um, very good to add because the because they make your ad a lot bigger and people have a lot more possibilities um, where they can click on. So this basically increases the click through rate of your ad. Then you also have structured snippets and call it extensions. This is basically just an extension of your description for your ads, making also your ad bigger. This is also why you want to use them. Now, a lot of the time Google will not show these ad extensions, but you want to have the possibility to have these show up if Google decides to, to show them for you. So to add these extensions, we're going to go to our dashboard. Then we're going to click on ads and extensions and we're going to click on extensions right here. Then here we're going to click on the plus sign and we're going to decide on what kind of extension we want to add. So I'm going to start with the site link extension. So here we can um, first of all decide on what kind of level we want to add these. So we, do we want to add these for all of our ads for our entire account or we only want to add it for a specific campaign or even for specific ad groups. Now here I'm just going to add it for a campaign, the one that we have just created. So I'm going to click on campaign right here. I'm going to choose our campaign that we have just created, click on done. And then I'm going to create my first titling extension. Um, one that is very often used is just a contact uh, us site link extension where you can um, have people going directly to the contact page. You can type in a description as well. Um, the description is not always going to show up, but sometimes it will show up as well. So here you can just type in something like uh, get, get a quote for your website today. Again, I'm going to try to use up as many characters as I can here 35 as possible. Also add a second description line here and then the final URL um, for the first couple of sidelink extensions, you have to um, use a different URL compared to what you have used before in uh, your ad group. So um, and then afterwards, you can also use uh, your your main URL. So your landing page, but this would be, for example, HTTPS. Um, website designers.com designer.com forward slash contact uh, contact all right so then you want to add like um, like eight side link extensions I would at least add four and um, and then once you've done that you're going to click save and you can go to the next extension so to also add the other extensions we're going to again click on the plus sign right here and then I would also add call out extensions, structured snippets. And then the other extensions might make sense for you um, depending on your business. So if you want people to call you, then you also want to add a call extension um, typing in your phone number so people can see that um, before they even click on the ad. So again, it will not always show up, but it can show up and it can help to get more customers. Then you can also do location extensions and a lot of other stuff. So you can go through that on your own and just set up the extensions that make sense for your ads.